हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू शी जी क्लासेस एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम एंटी माइक्रोबियल्स एंड अवर फर्स्ट टॉपिक इज टेट्रासाइक्लिंस सो वी शुड स्टार्ट विद इंट्रोडक्शन द टेट्रासाइक्लिंस आर द क्लास ऑफ एंटीबायोटिक्स हैविंग अ न्यूक्लियस ऑफ फोर साइक्लिक रिंग्स दे आर ब्रॉड स्पेक्ट्रम एंटीबायोटिक्स दे आर ऑप्टेन्ड फ्रॉम सॉइल एक्टिनोमाइसिटीज first to be introduced was chlorotetracycline in 1948 they are mildly bitter solids and slightly water soluble but their hydrochlorides are more water soluble next mechanism of action tetracycline binds to the 30s ribosomal subunit and blocks the attachment of amino acid tRNA to the acceptor site of mRNA ribosome complex and thus inhibit protein synthesis selective toxicity of tetracyclines to the microbes first the carrier involved in the active transport of the tetracycline is absent in the host cells hence it exhibit the selective toxicity to the microbes and not to the human the next point is protein synthesizing apparatus of the host cells is less susceptible to the tetracyclines tetracyclines are primarily bacteriostatic next the antimicrobial spectrum they are broad spectrum antibiotics first gram positive and gram negative cocci such as staph aureus staph pyogenes enterococci and few nizeria gonorrhea and meningitis organism gram positive bacilli such as clostridia listeria b anthracis propionobacterium acnes and gram negative bacilli like h ducreae c granulomatis vibria cholerae yersinia pestis y enterolytica campylobacter jejuni H influenzae, Brucella, H pylori, Pasturella multocida, and F tularensis. Other microorganisms such as spirochetes, Rickettsia, Mycoplasma, Chlamydia, Actinomyces, Endamoeba histolytica, and Plasmodium. Next, resistance. The bacterial resistance to the tetracyclines is due to first. decreased permeability to the tetracycline second increased efflux of the tetracycline through the efflux pump also known as the tet pumps third plasma mediated synthesis of a protection protein which protects the ribosomal binding site from the tetracyclines fourth inactivation of the drug by the enzymes next pharmacokinetics first of all route of administration oral capsule is the most commonly preferred im is very painful and hence not used iv rarely used liquid oral preparations for the children are banned in india topical preparations have high risk of sensitization and hence not used but in ocular application as an eye drop it can be used the next property is of chelation chelation property tetracycline along with milk or iron preparation anti acids sucral fate and zinc salts form insoluble and unabsorbable complex that is chelation with calcium magnesium iron and other metal ions and hence decreases the absorption of tetracycline third point volume of distribution it is more than 1 liter per kg fourth they are concentrated in the liver spleen and bind to the connective tissue in the bone and teeth but has less csf concentration approximately 1/4 fifth they can cross the placental barrier and are secreted in the milk in amounts sufficient to affect the suckling infant now we will see some difference between the drugs of tetracycline group there is of oxy tetracycline and tetracycline here is tamiflucycline and here is minocycline and doxycycline 
the source of oxytetracycline is s ramosus and tetracycline is semisynthetic the demiglucycline is obtained from s oreofaciens minocycline and doxycycline are semisynthetic potency low intermediate and high oral bioavailability 60 to 80% 60 to 80% and 95 to 100% of minocycline and doxycycline because of no interference with the food plasma protein binding oxytetracycline low tetracycline moderate and of demiglo and mino and doxycycline they are high t half 6 to 12 hour 12 to 18 hour and 18 to 24 hour yeah, this is the longest acting drug dosage 250 to 500 milligram qid 100 to 600 milligram bd and 100 milligram bd or od of doxy and minocycline next we will discuss some pharmacokinetic of doxycycline it has bile elimination and hence safe in renal failure undergoes enterohepatic circulation enzyme inducers like phenobarbiton carbamazepine and phenytoin enhances the metabolism and shortens the t half of it they are the longest acting and hence can be given od once a day loading dose can also be given next minocycline being highly lipid soluble accumulates in the body fat next we will discuss about some adverse effect first on git the most common adverse effects occur on the git that is epigastric distress nausea vomiting diarrhea and abdominal discomfort odinophagia and esophageal ulceration has occurred by the release of material from the capsules in the esophagus during swallowing especially with doxycycline diarrhea is more common with tetracycline and oxytetracycline as they are incompletely absorbed and cause alteration of normal flora second phototoxicity the demiglucycline Phototoxicity is more than the doxycycline, but both shows phototoxicity. Sunburn like skin reaction on exposure to the sunlight. Distortion of the nails may occur. Pigmentation is also seen sometimes. Third, liver damage. Oxytetracycline and tetracycline are least hepatotoxic. Acute hepatic necrosis along with fatty changes is common in the patients receiving high dose more than 2 gram per day IV of tetracycline. It is more likely to occur in the pregnant woman. Fourth, kidney damage. Tetracyclines except the doxycycline accumulate and worsen the renal failure. Doxycycline are safe in renal failure. Next is Fanconi syndrome. It is very important and you have to understand this process. Exposure to acidic pH, moisture and heat favors the degradation of the tetracyclines. The degraded products of tetracycline are epitetracycline and hydrotetracycline and epi and hydrotetracycline. Consumption of such outdated tetracycline damages the proximal renal tubules and causes Fanconi syndrome and that is reversible. Patient presents with nausea, vomiting, proteinuria, polyuria, amino aciduria, polydipsia, glycosuria and renal tubular acidosis. Loss of bicarbonate occurs in the urine. Next, diabetes insipidus. Demiglucycline makes the CD cells insensitive to ADH and hence produces nephrogenic diabetes insipidus. Effect on the teeth and bones. Tetracyclines have calcium chelating property and hence forms tetracycline calcium orthophosphate complex. It gets deposited in the growing teeth and bone. In mild pregnancy to 5th month of extrauterine life, 
if the tetracyclines are consumed then it will affect the deciduous teeth brown discoloration and ill formed teeth which are more susceptible to caries tetracycline also affects the linear growth of the bones if tetracycline is consumed from 3 month to 6 year of age then it would affect the crown of permanent anterior dentition next anti anabolic effect tetracycline reduces the protein synthesis induces negative nitrogen balance and hence tend to increase the blood urea ninth in brain minocycline is highly lipid soluble it crosses the blood brain barrier and increases the intracranial pressure in the infants hence producing pseudo tumor cerebri vestibular toxicity reversible vestibular toxicity with minocycline is seen ataxia vertigo and nystagmus occur 11th skin and thyroid minocycline can cause black brown skin pigmentation and also can cause black thyroid hypersensitivity reactions skin rashes urticaria glossitis pruritus any and vulvae exfoliative dermatitis etc are infrequent to tetracyclines complete cross sensitization is exhibited by different tetracyclines next super infection older tetracycline causes more marked suppression of the resident flora it occurs with organisms like candida proteus pseudomonas and clostridium difficile pseudomembranous colitis caused by clostridium difficile is characterized by severe diarrhea fever abdominal pain stool mixed with blood and mucus and the treatment given is oral metronidazole intestinal super infection by candida albicans is most prominent next contraindications they are contraindicated in pregnancy and lactation in the children in patients on diuretics as blood urea may rise in renal failure and in hepatic insufficiency next we will see the uses first rickettsial infection in typhus fever rocky mountain spotted fever scrub fever and q fever the doxycycline respond dramatically doxycycline is the drug of choice in mycoplasma pneumonia infection Doxycycline is the drug of choice in atypical pneumonia caused by mycoplasma pneumonia. Third, spirochetes. Treponema palladium causes syphilis and the drug of choice is penicillin G. But if the patient present with the history of allergy of the penicillin then doxycycline is given. The next is leptospirosis or Borrelia burgdorferi. in prophylaxis the doxycycline is given whereas in the mild cases doxycycline is more preferred than amoxicillin and in severe cases penicillin g or cephalosporin can be preferred fourth brucellosis and fifth bartorella for both the drug of choice is the combination of doxycycline and rifampin or gentamicin or streptomycin can be preferred the dose of doxycycline is 200 mg per day and the dose of rifampin is 600 mg per day and the treatment is for 6 days sixth cholera tetracycline reduces the stool volume tetracycline 2 g or doxycycline 300 mg single dose is given fluid and electrolyte replacement is the mainstay of the therapy in pregnancy azithromycin is preferred seventh chlamydal infection lymphom granuloma venerum sexual transmission infection caused by c trichomatis doxycycline more preferred than erythromycin c trichomatis can also causes trichoma and genital infections your azithromycin single dose is more preferred than doxycycline 70 dose chlamydial urethritis and granuloma inguinal the drug of choice is doxycycline 
for granuloma inguline doxycycline is preferred 3 week and for chlamydial urethritis doxycycline is preferred 1 week cytokosis doxycycline treatment for 2 week to prevent the relapse 8 plague both bubonic and pneumonic plague the treatment is streptomycin or gentamicin and alternative is doxycycline and ciprofloxacin whereas prophylactically doxycycline or ciprofloxacin is preferred 9 pneumonia due to c pneumonia doxycycline alternative to azithromycin is preferred in acne low doses of tetracycline is preferred they inhibit the propionine bacterium acne and hence inhibit the conversion of lipids to free fatty acid which is done by propionine bacteria next amoebiasis tetracycline along with other amoebicides for chronic intestinal amoebiasis is given 12th malaria doxycycline and anti-malarial agents for the treatment of chloroquine resistant p falciparum malaria and doxycycline for the treatment of malarial prophylaxis 13 siadh syndrome of inappropriate adh secretion demiclocycline makes the cd cells insensitive to adh and hence helpful in siadh leprosy in the rom regimen which stands for rifampin ofloxacin and minocycline which is a tetracycline for single lesion possibacillary leprosy is used. 15th, filariasis. Oral doxycycline in filarial infection is preferred. Next, empirical therapy. Tetracycline are often employed when the nature and sensitivity of the infective organism cannot be reasonably guessed. Tetracycline may be used for initial treatment of mixed infection, but now beta lactam along with aminoglycosides or fluoroquinolones or third generation cephalosporins are used. They are not dependable for empirical treatment of serious or life-threatening infections. 17. Community Acquired Pneumonia In Community Acquired Pneumonia, the short form is CAP-CAF, when a more selective antibiotic cannot be used, tetracyclines are preferred. 18. UTI or in odd cases in which the organism has been found sensitive, tetracyclines are preferred. Tetracyclines are the second choice drugs to penicillin or ampicillin for tetanus, anthrax, actinomycosis and listeria infection. They are second choice drugs to ceftriaxon or amoxicillin or azithromycin for gonorrhea in patient allergic to penicillin. They are second choice drugs to ceftriaxon Triaxone for syphilis in patient allergic to penicillin. They are second choice drug to penicillin for leptosporiosis. Weekly doxycycline has been used as prophylactive in the subjects at risk during an epidemic. They are second choice drugs to azithromycin for pneumonia due to C. pneumonia. They are second choice drugs to ceftriaxone or azithromycin for chancroid. They are second choice drug to streptomycin for tularemia. Then, in swimming pool granuloma that is caused by mycobacteria, marinum, minocycline is preferred. Tetracycline for H. pylori therapy. Next, we will understand about the TJ cycline. It is very important and often short notes are asked. Introduction. They are the first member of a new glycyl cycline class of synthetic tetracycline analogs. They are active against most bacteria that have developed resistance to the classical tetracyclines. They have broadest spectrum of activity. They are derivative of minocycline. Antimicrobial spectrum from gram positive such as streph pneumonia. MRSA, VRSA, VRE, Enterococcus faecalis, Staph aureus and Streph pyogenes. From gram-negative organisms such as E. coli, Enterobacteria C, 
Acinetobacter, Legionella and Rickettsia. From anaerobes such as Bacteroids, Fragilis, Propinobacterium, Acnes, Mycoplasma and Chlamydia. Pseudomonas and Proteus are inherently non-responsive to the TG cycle. Next, Mechanism. Tetracycline efflux pumps acquired by many resistant bacteria have very low affinity to TG cycline and are unable to pump it out. The ribosomal protection protein against the tetracycline is less active in protecting the ribosomal binding site from TG cycline. Next, pharmacokinetics. They are poorly absorbed from the GIT. Route of administration is slow IV infusion. Volume of distribution is large, more than 7 liter per kg. Plasma concentration is low. Elimination mainly in the bile T half is 36 to 60 hour and they are safe in renal failure as doxycycline. Uses For serious and hospitalized patients of community acquired pneumonia, complicated skin infection and complicated intra-abdominal infection. They are not recommended for children and in the pregnancy. They are not recommended for hospital or ventricular associated chest infections. They are not recommended for UTI and not for diabetic foot skin infections. The dose is 100 mg loading dose followed by 50 mg 12 hourly IV infusion over 30 to 60 minutes for 5 to 14 days. Side effects Nausea, vomiting, epigastric distress, diarrhea, skin reaction, photosensitivity and injection site complications and super infection can occur. Now we will see the advantage of doxycycline over tetracycline. First of all, doxycycline can be administered orally as well as IV. It is highly potent. Food does not interfere with its absorption. Hence, oral bioavailability is 100%. It has longer duration of action. t is 24 hours. Incidence of diarrhea is rare as it does not affect the intestinal flora. It can be safely given to the patients with renal failure as it is excreted primarily in the bile. That's enough for today. And so we have completed our tetracyclines. Now we will move to our next topic, chloramphenicol, in my next video. Thanks for watching it. And if you found it helpful, then please like, share and subscribe.